What's up, everybody, and welcome back to episode two of my vanilla series, right? Vanilla hardcore series, I guess. So, I have a little room. It's somewhat little. Actually, I need to make myself a new pick. I've burned through a bunch of them. Um, but thankfully, I have a whole bunch of cobble, too, so it, it kind of works out. Um, anyways, I'm cooking up some steak right now, and when I have the beginnings of a mine, I figured I'd go with the ladder technique this time, just because it's, um, it's, a uh, I don't know, faster? Or it's less work, really, because to get down, I don't have to touch anything, um, and to get up, I just have to hold forward, and that's it. So it'll be easy going back, uh, up and down. That's, that's actually one part where I miss, like, mods, because you can, you can put one of those elevator blocks there and just go up and down super quick. So, uh, yeah, just a small little place, and then when I noticed, I got to this corner and realized, oh, I was going outside, figured why not just add a back door? And that's where I put all my sunflowers, which I originally put in the front of the house, but it looks like they only point towards where the sun rises. And, um, since it rises over there, uh, they only pointed that way, and when I put them in front of my other house, all I saw was the, the back of them. So, I put them over here. In fact, I'm gonna chop this tree down because uh, it's in the way and I want to be able to see this exit um, fairly easily. Pick that up and uh, we'll plant that out front I think. Um, so yeah basically today's episode is... Uh, whoa there we go. We need iron. Uh, tired of, of slumming it around and all these stone tools. I used the leather from the cows to make myself a chest piece and a helmet. Um, but yeah, an iron and farm, or a farm. So, uh, we're gonna go out and look for a village, and, um, I'm going to take a screenshot. In fact, I'll even, um, I'll even mark it here. X485, 84, negative 77. Just so I know where my house is, because I've made that mistake before. And I don't want to make it again. In fact, do I have extra wool? I do. I'm going to make a mobile bed. Because it doesn't matter in hardcore. Which, uh, thankfully, you guys reminded me on uh, my first hardcore sees. It does not matter. <laughs> uh, in fact, I'll just take all this. Put those away. Take some of the steaks and the apple. And we'll take those on our way out. And I'll just eat the apple now. That should... Oh, almost. And... We'll wait. We'll sleep, actually. And I'll make myself a shovel, just so I have a spare one. And uh, this looks like a good kit to go out and about. Leave some coal there, just in case uh, I use all this coal, and then I'm completely SOL on coal when I get home. I want to find a village, because I want potatoes. Uh, I don't believe that there's a natural way to find potatoes yet. So we're going to do that. I do want to kill these cows because I want their leather. Their delicious leather that instead of tanning, I just I hang them up. Oh. I was going to say something else, but um, I decided not to because, I mean, who likes leather? No one. No one does that. Only weirdos do that, and I definitely don't do that because I'm not a weirdo. Oh. Go. Lots of cows. And that delicious meats. Uh there's one cow. I don't want to kill them all. Let's see there's there's one cow here. There's uh squids down here too, cool. I guess I should kill them for ink, but I don't really need ink. Okay, there's there's a couple more over here. We'll keep those ones um, alive, and we'll breed those ones later on. So we have cows, we have sheep near us, and I believe there's pigs somewhere? I know we got pigs at some point. These pumpkins are cool, though. They're not too far. I'll leave them here. I don't need to carry them with us. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I am burning through my hunger by running around and jumping a bunch. That is one part that sucks about um, Amplified Worlds, too. There's a lot more cows over here. Um, you you jump a lot, so like jumping only 
you know, increase his hunger more. So that's uh, that's bad news bears. All right. So first little cave, we have some coal. Uh, should we take the coal? Uh, we could. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a little bit of coal because uh, you can never have too much coal. And I know that we're going to be burning through a lot of it in the future when uh, I inevitably make a bunch of stone bricks. So, hmm, might as well get some now. And I am going to be using a lot of torches on this uh, adventure. So, let's try to uh, get as much coal as possible. There we go. Alright, so again, I'm feeling pretty good about this seas. I feel, uh, I feel refreshed, you know? I don't feel burdened by, uh, by the last world anymore. And, uh, I feel like we can take on anything. Okay, second little cave. I'm just gonna light it up over here. That way I know I've been in this one. And then we'll go back up here because I saw more coal. That's fine. Holy poop, are you serious? A zombie spawner already? Also, those guys are super loud. Is that just me? That's not just me, right? Hostile creatures, that's why. I left you up because I wanted to hear you, but I don't want to hear you that much. Get away with your, your dirty shovel. Oh, super cool. So, uh, here's the coordinates for that, guys. Negative 5, 20, 84. 104. Oh, very, very cool. Um, oh, dang. In fact, I'm going to continue with my tradition and take a screenshot. That way I don't forget. Really sad there's no chess here, though. Really sad there's no chess, because that would have been very helpful. We didn't get um, any uh, the iron stuff that they were holding. Still having those those brain toots. There we go. Now we got leg armor. A little bit more armor. Feel a little bit more safe. That is really cool. Take a couple pieces of coal. Just for good luck. And uh, we'll get to moving. We really lucked out on that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, look. Another little area over here. Is that the area we came from? Nope, it's not lit up. If it's not lit up, we haven't been there. Up, up, and up. How high does um does iron spawn? Is there a limit to how high it can do? Or that it can spawn? Or is it like one of those things where it only spawns like under like Y40? Because we're really high up. We're at 93 right now. No chicken. Oh, okay. There's going to be a little bit of lag going into sand territory. I know that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where should we go? I should just make a bridge right here, huh? Do you think 64 blocks is going to be enough? It should. We'll make like little uh, bridges everywhere. That way we have like relics that we can look on later on. And I don't think I'm going to build a train system in this series. I say that now because I really don't want to because the last one I had like these grand plans to make it like look super cool and it just turned out to be like a ton of like work that was just really repetitive. And um, I didn't actually want to do it. I'm going to light it up because I don't want baddies to spawn on it. If they spawn around it, that's fine, because we can kind of deal with that. But if they spawn on it, then we got to deal with them on top of it. And I don't want to do that. And we're almost out of torches already. Perfectly fine. I knew that was going to happen. So hopefully we could find a dungeon that's uh, in the sand. Uh, because that's, that's kind of common. Well, I guess it's just not as rare... Is finding them underground, I feel. Because uh, all the sand like sinks in and like a square. So it makes it really easy to see. That's the that's not a temple or anything interesting, that's just a water well. 
Mm -hmm. Cacti. We should probably pick up some cactus just so we have it. And then we could grow it uh, back at the house. I'll pick up. I'll, I'll pick up uh, sand until my shovel breaks. That way we use our new shovel and we have sand for glass and other sand stuff. I think that's really all you use sand for in vanilla, isn't it? I mean, aside from like sandstone and stuff, but um, anything useful really. I guess the building blocks is useful in Minecraft. <laughs> Let's see. Anything cool? We got like a Sahara. I think that's where we spawned, wasn't it? Yeah. Nothing super cool in the desert. That's a shame. Usually these have um, something in them. How about we eat? <laughs> Actually, I should have brought more food. I thought that we would have uh, been out here longer, but I'm kind of burning through this food, aren't I? Oh, <laughs> probably because I'm traveling like this everywhere. Sprinting and jumping and running. Sprinting and running, I guess, are the same thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Looking for a ravine, cave system, something that wasn't near me. Oh, no, I shouldn't eat that until I'm... What, it's five bars, right? I might be able to make a bridge here. I'm gonna find out. And then I'm gonna be out of cobble. Now I'm gonna... Now I've decided I'm gonna build bridges. I should probably bring a lot of cobble with me, right? Well, probably one of my favorite songs uh, in Minecraft. And we're out. We have dirt, though. Lovely, lovely dirt. Hello, cows. You're not near my spawn, so I'm going to kill you. I was um, messing around with some of the alpha builds earlier today because um, I don't know why. I just wanted to uh, see if I can't relive some of that nostalgia, you know. And it, it was super nostalgic. Like, the super bright grass and no hunger bar, no experience. Uh, the old, um, what is it, uh, uh, damage sound that the guy used to make Steve Steve used to make it was like Ugh! Ugh! It, was, uh, it was cool stuff the lack of, of passive animals like there were sheep and uh, I think there was cows I was on like alpha 1.01 or something like that I was, it was something super super old um, I'm beginning to think that there is something with iron, right? It, I, I thought I remembered that. That iron only spawns uh, below a certain level. Or, I don't know. It's either below or above, but I figured we would have found it by now. Iron's not that rare. Okay, I'm just going to sleep in this little area here. Because I know it's nighttime outside. Boom, boom. Oh, my sword's about to break. I should probably make a backup one so I don't lose that in the heat of battle. Whoops. Alright, zombies. Prepare to meet your fate. I'm actually more worried about the spider there. 
than anything. Okay. Lots of coal down here. Just go a little bit further in, and uh, I am only finding coal in here. Let's see. Is there anything down here? There's a creeper. I don't want anything to do with you, Mr. Creeper. So what I think I'm going to do, guys, since this uh, trip seems to be bust... I'm going to head back home uh, with my handy dandy coordinates that I've left there. And uh, we're just going to expand on our mine and just hope that we run into like a cave system or um, a ravine or just something. And then uh, during that time, I will look up the actual facts on where, where and how iron spawns because I thought it was like above Y40 or something like that iron can spawn uh, but I guess I'm I was wrong maybe it's the other way around I that's the part I don't know so I'll see you guys uh, in just just a moment and we're back at the house and I'll show you the situation <clears throat> Uh, apparently, iron spawns between layers 1 and 63. I knew it was some some weird rule like that where it, it'll only spawn within a certain layer. We're on layer 40 right now, and this is the very first iron that I've seen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, anyways. I don't think we've came across any on the first episode. Uh, I would have minded it if, if we did. But we got a good amount. We got 15. And apparently the rule is... Um, that's, uh, hold on, there's, uh, specifics on this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. About 77 iron ores per chunk, uh, <clears throat> between the layers 1 through, uh, 63. And, uh, I guess it becomes increasingly sparse the higher you go up. Or maybe it's the lower you go down. I don't know, I don't think it actually said either or. Uh, it compromises approximately 1.3% of all blocks on layers 5 through 40, tapering off above that. On average, there's about 77 ores per chunk. Um, so I guess uh, of all the blocks between 1 through 40, it's 1.3%. That was, that was a 3, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> um and then it, it gets lower after that. So I guess between 40 and uh, 63, it's less than 1.3%. So I guess it really levels 5 through 40 is your best bet to find uh, iron. And um, I just heard a chicken. You guys heard that, right? Or was that... No, it wasn't me picking up something. It was definitely an egg popping out of a chicken. It's, it's a different pop. There's a bunch of different pops in Minecraft. And that pop was definitely a chicken. No? I, okay, I guess it was one of these pops. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'm going crazy. There's a thousand different pops in the game. And, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm going insane. So we got 24, uh, this way. I need to <laughs> block that off so I don't get lost again. Should just be a straight shot, which it was, but again, going crazy. So now we have iron, which is awesome. Uh, actually, I just wasted a piece of coal there, but that's fine. I'm actually going to take this upstairs. And uh, you can see the little outcrop that I have there. That's a uh, Y level 40. We'll go lower for diamond and stuff later on. But right now I want to set up a farm before this episode is over. Because I'm pretty sure it's running long once again. Because uh, I don't plan these things. They just kind of happen. And uh, we have seeds. 
So we're going to do bread initially, and then later on we will set up more farms, different farms. And uh, I think it'll be good right, probably right here. So let's flatten out this area and chop down this tree. We're destroying nature to, to, to make more nature. Right? I mean, you could consider gardening, like, extending nature, right? I, 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 I am, so regardless if you think so or not, I totally am. And broke through that shovel, which means another shovel. And why am I not cooking this iron as we're doing this? <laughs> I'm wasting time I'm trying to be efficient on this, and I'm, I'm dropping the ball left and right. Oh, also... Um, I picked up the newest version of Faithful, which is the texture pack I'm using. I'm just going to punch this tree down. And uh, glass is broken, so be wary if you pick up the new version of uh, Faithful, that glass will be broken. Uh, but I think it's only the texture that you have in hand. I'm pretty sure when you place it... It'll still be fine. I haven't tested that, so we'll test that once we get back in the house, because I, I started smelting some sand as soon as we got back. And uh, I actually didn't even need the coordinates. <clears throat> we weren't that far away, and the bridges that I made helped out a lot. Um, because I, I, going, I, I, could, I saw both bridges, and um, we don't have a bucket of water yet. And I know we don't really need that to farm... But we need it so it stays wet. Um, so let's sleep. And then we will uh, go find water. It shouldn't be too far. I think there's actually one in the backyard. There's like a little pond over here. Oh, maybe I'm just thinking of the waterfall. I don't know. Let's swim up the waterfall and get rid of that so they stop updating. This is the best way to handle... A rogue flood in your backyard. Just go straight to the source, scoop it up with a bucket, and, uh, you know, deal with it that way. And hope to not die in the process. Which is, that's the hard part. Let's, let's be honest here, alright? Dealing with water, uh, dying is, is always a key factor. Gotcha. And now we ride it down. Da, 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 da. And since our world is labeled super extreme f fun slide, we, we should probably add in like um, water travel, you know? I think that'll be uh, a neat idea. That seems to be about the middle. If not, whatever. Three, three. That's good. I'll just hoe this place out. I don't even know the size of water. I think it's, it goes up to five blocks away, right? Okay. All right. It's getting the corner, so that's good. That's all I need. That was just a guesstimate. So we'll just plant these seeds that I picked up on the way home, which uh, don't drop as much as I would like. And uh, we've got the beginnings of a farm over here. And we'll move those inside. Uh, my my plan is to, once we hollow this out, is that each floor will have a certain meaning. And uh, it probably won't be this shape. I probably will go a little bit further out. But like I said, I hit the back of this. So um, it's uh, it, it had to be constrained a little bit. So we're going to get that. We'll get one of these, that, a sword after we get more sticks. Another thing from playing Alpha is that they don't have any of or all these um, ways of like speeding through. Like if I hit three, it, it goes into my third slot there. They don't have stuff like that. And um, I, I miss that. That, that that's, a, that's a good way. They don't have that either, which I, I've gotten spoiled with since um, uh, that, that came recently, actually. I want pants because chest plate and pants are the the bigger of um, the armor values. So I want those. And then we have a storage area over here now. 
And uh, over here is going to be worthless blocks. So we'll start with like, um, once this starts getting more full with cobblestone, I'll start separating it from dirt and sand and gravel and stuff. Um, just for now. But I'll probably have like a room underneath this floor and just make that a storage room with chests like all around and make it easy on myself. I don't think I'll make another automated trash thing, although that was kind of neat. Uh, I, I'm actually really disappointed that we couldn't fill that up, but that was really hard. It was really, really tough to fill up. So anyways, guys, I'm going to I'm I'm gonna go mine <laughs> for some more iron. I'm going to burn through this pick, and I think that's the uh, stone pick that I had, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to burn through this pick and then start working with iron more. And uh, I'll see you guys for episode three. If you like this series, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw. Anyways, I'm going to go. I will see you guys for the next one.